In this video, I'm going to talk about our light seal technology. And as we have them for different connectors, the ST, the SMA, we've got ferrules and stuff like that. We're going to demonstrate it on the ST connector so you get a little idea um, what it, the technology is and how to use it and how easy it really is to do a field termination of a fiber optic connector. So let's get started. Um, this is a uh, standard in the industry. It's got a 2.2 uh, millimeter OD jacket. It's got a one millimeter core and almost all of the fibers that are in the industrial controls and that all use this particular type of, of what we call a POR cable. So what I'm going to demonstrate here is our low loss um, razor cutter. And as you can see from this tool, it has multiple functions. They have a rough cut, a finish cut for duplex, it has two holes that you can do the rotary strip on it, and it has five different locators, and these locators are part of where the, the razor cutter is in the proper location to the end of the connector, so when you finish the connector, it, it's, it's, it's ready for you. So uh, let's go ahead and make one. So. We've got our cable right here as a standard duplex cable, so we could either rough cut it to what we want. Uh, right now, we've got it basically the small sample, so I'm going to show you the, the rotary strip function on both of these. So it has a handy little uh, length gauge here, but for putting on ST connectors, you're, you're, you're going to want to have about uh, five eighths of an inch of strip on each side. So. It does a nice job stripping it off, and let's go ahead and do it on both sides. So, so we're going to do a rotary strip on both sides. So now that the, the, the cable is ready to go ahead and put the, the connector on. So what, what's really truly unique about the light seal uh, series of connectors is the ability to swage the end of the connector around the fiber. And doing so, you can eliminate the epoxy. So in this right here, most duplexes, you're going to use, want to use different colors of strain reliefs. That way, it's very easy for the installer because he, he knows what channel to look for. So uh, we're going to slide the connector on. And in this tool right here, you have two sizes for the crimp. There's a 2.9 and a 4.9. And then you have this very unique feature on the front. Well, that on the top of the tool that's for the swaging and what that does is it takes the tool and it, and it deforms the end of the connector concentric around the fiber so we've, we've deformed that end of the connector and now it, it's on there and you got about 10, 10 uh, newtons that's of retention force but it it cylindrically aligns that fiber around the OD of that connector and it, and it keeps it from thermal coupling and pistoning onto the jacket. The last thing we want to do is go ahead and hex crimp the back of the connector. We can slide that on. Now we insert this into, in, in, into one of the five holes. We'll bring down the razor cutter and we'll feel it out and then it's just a matter of finish it. So now you have a finished fiber optic connector ready, ready to be used. So, Let's just go ahead and do the other one. So we'll slide this on the end. We'll swage the end of it. We'll crimp the back of it. And as you can see, with a little uh, proficiency, you can be pretty good at field installing uh, a connector. So there you go. There's a, there's a finished duplex. So you can see how easy it is to do a field install on a connector. We have a full line of uh, SC, LC, ST, SMI, and uh, a Vago, uh, or I should say Broadcom or Versalink type of uh, connector system. So anything that, that you might think you need, if you can't find it on the website, just, just e email us and we'll make sure that we can meet your needs. 